Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today. So today we are back at the channel with another speed build and yes we are back in Mount Komarebi because this is the world that I'm playing in at the moment. So this is the world that I'm building in and today I am building a modern suburban home, a Japanese inspired modern suburban home here in uh, I think, oh my gosh, I don't know what this part of the world is called again but this is the part where we have more of like a cityscape and I thought that a modern suburban would look really cute here in this area of Mount Kumu Rebi. So I did get the inspiration for this build from not Instagram, uh, Google Images, that's right. I was just googling Japanese suburban homes on Google Images and up comes this really cute little house that I thought I really need to recreate that. So I will put the photo of that house here up on the screen. I did take inspiration from that, but I didn't make an exact copy because that is just not what I really like to do anymore. So it's a inspiration and I took pieces of there and implemented that in this build. And in the end, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. It's a small house. I mean, we are working on like a 30 by... 20? No, it's even smaller. I think this is like a 20 by 15. I'm not sure. I will leave it in the description of the video, the size of this lot, but I know the lot is really small and I did have a bit, a little bit of trouble, you know, getting everything to fit. The backyard is eeny, eeny, meeny. I wished it was larger, but I didn't want to take more from the front yard because I do find a front yard uh, or a curb appeal really important and I really needed some shrubbery and some landscaping at the front. So that's also why the backyard is a little bit teensy, but I do feel that the backyard is very cute. We have a little pond in the backyard. I also added in a little bit of a seating area, so you can definitely entertain in the garden if you want to. And I also add in two planters, so you can also garden there as well, which is of course really handy, especially if you're like me and you love gardening in The Sims 4, then you are very happy with the planters that I added in. To be fair, you can only plant like eight plants in there but that's fine it's it's a starting point and that's all you need um so this house is gonna have two bedrooms two bathrooms so actually i think it has enough uh, that a starter family should need uh it's not a starter home though it costs a little bit of simoleons but still if you have like a small starting family like you're you're making enough money but you still have like one child then this is the perfect place to live within the city uh, you have access to the uh, the hiking trails from here you can visit the pagoda pa pagoda <laughs> pagoda i think it's called the pagoda i'm not sure anyways you can visit it from here there are also these um there's just so much to do in this neighborhood and i think living in on this lot is gonna be very fun you're also very close to the park on this lot and you also have the bar or sushi restaurant that i created for this part of the world here as well so if you want to go and you know get some dinner here in the sushi bar you can which is amazing i just love living on this lot i did play test this of course like i do every build i play test everything truly and everything is functional your sim can route through every room without any issues there was a little bit of a routing problem in the master bedroom but I did fix that um, the closet was a little bit too close and we couldn't get to the other side of the bed but I did move everything over like a few centimeters and now it's all fine um, anyways here we are in the living room so I went with a very nice open living room I love I just love the idea of open living rooms that is definitely what uh, is nowadays the, the norm for living dining and kitchen um, usually you get an open floor plan if you buy newer houses so of course I wanted to go with a open floor plan for this modern house as well this is definitely more on the newer side and I love the layout of the kitchen so the kitchen isn't as large as you would think it is there are only like three um, 
tree, how you call it, uh, like well, there's only one counter that you can use to actually make uh, food on. So this counter on the left side, this counter over here is gonna get a sink because I forgot the sink, but right before uploading this to the gallery and I was play testing it and then my sim walked to the bathroom to clean up her dishes and I was like, wait a minute, what is she doing? <laughs> and then I saw, oh, I forgot to add in a sink. So there will be a sink in the kitchen, but you won't see me putting it on camera. Um, there are also two bathrooms. The main bathroom upstairs is gonna have a bathtub, but the downstairs bathroom didn't have the space or the capacity to have a bathtub. So we only have a shower, double sinks and a toilet downstairs. But I think that is all you need for a downstairs bathroom. My ba downstairs, my downstairs bathroom only has a toilet <laughs> in real life so I think it's a luxury to have another shower in a second bathroom um, and then for this bathroom at the very end of the video I will be implementing a laundry washer and dryer as well I forgot to add that in but again when I was play testing this and I found out that I was missing some of my routine with my sims usually I love to wake up with my sim make breakfast for the children and then when the children go off to school I make uh, I do the chores so I do the laundry the dishes yes I do everything that I do in normal life in my sims game why I don't know I hate do doing laundry in real life I love doing laundry in the sims 4 it's so weird but anyways when i was doing my chores i remembered oh my gosh there's no laundry so i put in a laundry at the very end of the video and i did test it out you can use it in this small space which is awesome as well so here furnishing the bedrooms i am gonna switch the children's bedroom with the master in a couple of moments i'm gonna furnish the entire master bedroom first and then I'm gonna look at the layout and I'm like hmm this is so small for a master bedroom and then I noticed that I switched the rooms because the children's bedroom on the right side right now is larger than the master that I have here and I felt that it was also very cramped and I couldn't really make this function properly so I'm gonna move this over to the other bedroom and this is gonna be a kids bedroom instead and this is spacious enough for a one bed kids bedroom you can even add in a second bed if you get rid of like um, I don't know maybe the the ward no not the wardrobe you need a wardrobe mode and maybe you can get rid of the the desk because we have another desk area inside this house in the hallway so if you want another sibling uh, to live inside of the same bedroom then you can remove the desk at in another bed and you can have two children sleeping here I just had Selena sleep on the couch when I was play testing this with my sim cell family it was fine um but yeah so as you can see I switched everything over and now we are in the right bedrooms thank god so yeah anyways i'm going with this bluish uh, bedroom i mean it's not catered for a boy it's not catered for a girl i do feel that this is very neutral in uh, gender so you can go and you know, place whatever you want in here i know sadie would love the blue paneling uh, maybe not this blue paneling but a, a, one one shade lighter she's really into the pastel colors right now but i think my sadie would love this bedroom Room, but I also think that a boy would love this bedroom as well. So I did add in um, some toy chests. There are some skateboards on the wall. They need to resemble uh, snowboards, <laughs> but we don't have snowboards to hang up the wall. So I just went with skateboards. And then here in the master bedroom, I'm also adding in a bookcase just because I thought that that was very handy to have. And then here we are outside on the patio, which is a little bit small. This balcony is very small. So I'm only adding in some planters. And then here in the hallway, I'm, ga uh, I'm gating. <laughs> I'm making a desk area for mommy or daddy to work a little bit from home because you know working from home is now the norm uh, of this 
of the world right now. Everyone is working from home except me because I work in a store. Sometimes I am a little bit mad at myself that I ha- didn't really study as hard as I should. And maybe I could have be a person that could work from home. Sadly, I didn't study as hard as I <laughs> had to. So now I'm working in retail, which is fine. It's my punishment, but sometimes I do feel a little bit guilty that I should have listened to my mom and I should have studied more and I should have stayed in school. But instead of that, I got married and I moved to Belgium. Um, But yeah, anyways, as you can see, I'm already done with the uh, living room, with the bedrooms. I'm now going to hop into the tiny, tiny backyard. And it's so tiny. This this little pond is eeny meeny. I am going to make it like two tiles large. Uh, later on because I do I do see that it's it's just too small so I am gonna make it a little bit smaller I'm also gonna add in the planters like I said and I'm also gonna add in a little bit of a seating area over here just a four seater but I don't think we need more as four because like the maximum amount of sims that can live here with the capacity of the beds is three right now and if you add in another children's bed four so more more than four people are never gonna live in this house. So if four four, four chairs were enough for me. <laughs> so we're going with four. And as you can see, I also widened the little pond. And now I'm adding in some, just some lights. I needed uh, something fun. And I'm going with these lanterns because I just think they look so super cute. And I love them in my game. If I can use them, I definitely try to use them in every build. Because these lanterns are just adorable so i think we're like almost done and now we're gonna hop inside and add in the laundry so the laundry is gonna be here in the lower end of the bathroom it's just made sense if you're um if your washing machine ever overflows, you know, you have that drain right there, which is really handy because that's happened to me a couple of times. Uh, but anyways, we're at the end of the video. I'm hoping that you enjoyed this very fast, really cute, modern suburban, Japanese inspired house. Let me know in the comments down below and leave a like, of course, if you liked the video. And if this is the first video that you're watching from me and you enjoyed it, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you would never, ever miss a video of mine. So that's it you all i'm hoping that you have an awesome day wherever you are and i will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>